Hey guys, so this is an interesting one. I always say that, don't I? But I think this is genuinely an interesting one. So I've done this sketch, right? And um, I've been looking over it and I'm really unhappy with it. And as I've been pouring it over my mind, I've been thinking, well, why not? Why don't I sort of, this would be a good opportunity to share on this kind of thing because um, it's an interesting subject, which is when when you do something and you're not very happy with it, what do you do? Now, at the sketch stage, I'm looking at this going, <sighs> I don't, so I'm going to go over with you what I don't like about this. I'm going to go over the whole lot. So first of all, let's start with this guy. He's the main character here, right? Main character. He's got a hand reaching out to us there. He's got a hand holding his little marker there. There's his back, blah, blah, all the usual. You know. My problem with this is that he's not very dynamic. It's a bit stiff. It's a bit staid, a bit stiff. Uh, yeah, it's static. There's no real movement in it or anything. Now you could say, not all the elements on a piece have to be uh, mobile. Yeah, have to be dynamic. <clears throat> as long as other bits are dynamic, it's okay. Like this bit, <coughs> excuse me, the heavy rain, these letters here, they're dynamic, right? They're not super dynamic, but there's movement in them. So if you contrast these with him, uh, it's a nice contrast. Bit of movement, bit of static. However, I just didn't really like it very much. Wasn't very happy about it. But as you can see, the sketch is quite a long way along. Well, it's not it's not just a long way along, it's finished. Essentially the sketch is finished. I'd have to blitz the whole thing and start again if I wanted to do something different, right? So <clears throat> yeah, anyway. This spray can on its own here, that's part of the problem I've got it got with it, which is which is it's on its own. It's a sort of single solitary element just there. That's not enough. Uh, I quite like this character down here. He's okay. Uh, he needs to have his hat filled in there. Don't forget that. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, this character, done a tiny little character here. It's quite a nice character, but the problem is it mirrors the one above it. I'm being picky here, but, but this is my job to be picky with the work that I do. Because uh, because you get to a certain level and you go, look, it's not enough for me to produce a piece of work where people go, oh, that's good. That's not enough anymore. Um, it's not enough for me. I expect better from myself in the best possible way, by the way. Uh, and I would I would expect you to ask these questions of yourselves as well. Some of you watching this will be a lot more experienced and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, some of you have not got to that stage yet. You're still looking at your work going, yeah, well, clearly I'm not there yet, but you know. But the thing is you will be eventually, you will be, and then it becomes a different game. It becomes about going, well, that's not good enough. That's not good enough for what I'm needing to do here. There needs to be more. But what? So, solitary spray can. You know, even if I hint at something behind that, I think I can solve that. Bit of negative space just there, I reckon I can solve that. Uh, this character, I think he has to go. Or he has to change, or something, I don't know. Not sure. Not sure yet. Uh, there's not much I can do about this fella. But I can certainly add other other elements will have to be added. More needs to be done here. <clears throat> you know, it's uh, some people really love sketching, right? Some people love sketch. I, I sometimes do actually. Sometimes I really love sketching. But as you can see from my lines, probably my lines are often quite quick, and they're not very uh, what's the word? Not very measured. I don't I don't sort of do sketches in a very slow, measured way or definitely. You know. 
I, I do very, like for instance, working on these heavy rain letters here, what I do to get those letters in is I will do incredibly rough, very light lines to get a sense of the space. I mean, really light, so you wouldn't even recognize them as letters. And then I start to put the letters in roughly like you see. And then I start to remove lines so I can see how they're gonna blend together. And then I start to sort of get rid of anything that doesn't go with the flow or add a few serifs or, you know, whatever it is. <clears throat> and eventually that's what I come up with. I might look at it and go, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Or if I might, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you right now, this is about my third attempt to doing this because if I look at it and go, no, I'm not happy with that, then it's gone. Because, you know, I have to, I have to live with myself, don't I? You know, I have to live with myself and my work. So please yourself before anybody else when it comes to this stuff. Um, there's a bit, I don't know if you've noticed this, you probably wouldn't from a sketch, but there's a bit of uh, a liberty going on with dimensions in this. <laughs> so this spray can, for instance, is pointing that way into the frame. So all its bubbles and everything technically should go behind this character. But aesthetically, it's not as pleasing <laughs> if I have his hat on the outside. Compositionally, it slightly knacks me. You know, it slightly does my legs, if you know what that expression is. Um, so I've got it going in front, which is a cheat. That's a real cheat. I thought I'd point that out as well, just because it's useful to know. Sometimes you can pull off something and it's a cheat and it really works. And sometimes you, pull it, uh, you, you, you do it and it doesn't pull off at all. And you just think, oh, it's awful. That's terrible. I did have this, like this fist here, this is a big sort of swooping arrow there, and without its point, you can't really see that it's an arrow, so I've had to change it compositionally. But the thing is, this fist is bigger than that, so it needs to go in front. This is nearer to us than that is. That's why all this is working okay, because I've already sort of worked here. This is the only bit that's cheated, just there. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, what else can I say about this? This guy really bothers me. So I did letters there before, and to be honest, I just find that a bit boring. I find the space a bit dead. It's a bit boring. I want to do something a bit more interesting. I might have to bite down a little bit and do something much more uh, complex, actually. Much more complex. That would be a way around it. If I was to do something much more complex... Like, so I, I quite fancied the idea of working with a transparency or something, but I couldn't think what it could be. I thought, I don't just want to sling some sort of, you know, uh, two-dimensional screens on there or something. Uh, Dime did, I think Dime was the first to do that many, many years ago, about 2000, I want to say. Oh, no, hang on, no, late 90s, that was. Uh, 98, I want to say, Dime did that maybe even 97, where he did, like, on a piece, he did big square sort of screens over his already 3D piece. God, it was amazing. Blew our minds at the time it did. What an amazing uh, groundbreaking artist he was. Uh, I know he can be a bit marmite sometimes. Some people love him. Some people don't really like his stuff at all. But uh, whatever you think of him, he, uh, he, he broke a lot of new ground. Um... Mm. I've got to crack on, haven't I? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show you this process because I'll only do it speeded up anyway because it might take ages to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something and then I'm going to come back and show you again. All right, uh, I've done a bit more. So it's uh, it's a bit different now. Uh, I've taken out that character, I put a bit of a spray can and stuff down here. But I've also done this arrow, this three dimensional arrow that comes out to give it a bit of depth, which sort of draws the eye a little bit. So I like it a bit better. Nothing much I can do to him, to be honest. Uh, so I haven't done much to him. Uh, put a little spray can, or into a spray can behind there. I've not done very much really, I've just changed this bit really. And uh, I guess as I go, I'll see if there's opportunity to do other bits. I guess we'll see. 
Nikka nada más o Here we go. E uh yeah, okay. Okay, I've got to the stage now where I can't be bothered to pencil it anymore. I do reach this stage. Some people pencil for days. Days and days and days. Not me. Uh, I'm done. I've got to start inking. So, I'm going to ink. So, let's get inking.
Okay, so it's all done. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really feeling it even now. <laughs> I just thought, I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going. Keep going with it. Uh, I've, I think I've got a bit of artist block at the moment. Uh, I'm not really feeling very much at all about the stuff I'm doing at the moment. Normally, if you feel like this, it's time for a bit of a radical shake-up. And I think it is for me. Uh, you, you know, you end up doing a lot of very similar stuff a lot of the time. And, uh, and you stop sort of enjoying it very much because there's nothing wrong with this picture compositionally or you know color wise or anything like that it's quite nice i guess but i'm not really feeling it at all it's uh yeah it's a bit of a yucky feeling i'm gonna have to do something completely different i think in order to uh to feel that i've got out of a rut so um so yeah yeah there it is anyway there it is all finished Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain Crew, my name, Obscured, down there. I never really mind obscuring my name. You know, you should be able to tell it's me from the style anyway, hopefully. With a bit of luck, that's how it generally works. Anyway, there it is. All finished. Also, just to say, I hate starting something, then not finishing it. I really hate it. It really bothers me. I did this the pencil sketch for this yesterday came down to it today and I was like oh my heart was slightly sinking you know like oh god I've got to do this I've got to do this somehow <sighs> but I don't like leaving things and when I inked it I was like oh do I have to colour this now oh cool but yeah I do I do for my own for my own sake you know if, unless I really can't do it unless I really hate it in which case it has to be sacked off, but um, yeah, I'd sort of recommend you try and do the same. Try and finish your work if you can, because um, it's not good for your head if you don't. You know, you start to sort of you start to think of yourself as somebody who doesn't finish stuff, and uh, it's a very slippery slope. Trust me, I'm sure some of you already know it. But anyway, it's done. And on to the next thing, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed a bit of that, and uh, see you again soon for some more.